Okay. Well, actually, no, it deals up to 52 flame damage. Like I saw there, I did only 50. Even though I had, um, you know, five shards. Or four shards. Okay. Quite annoyingly, she can silence. Which is utterly annoying. As you might have gathered. She doesn't say anything. Well, she has no flavor text. So, um. Also, Nissa? Huh. Ryan, there's a character in Game of Thrones, minor character, only mentioned in a uh, legend, and like once. Uh, she is the wife of Azura High. Nissa Nissa. Her n the name's so fine, you say it twice. Um. But yeah, uh, she, uh, like in the legend, Azura High is craft, like, he's trying to turn back to darkness. He's crafting a legendary blade. He, like, do does it twice or three times, and each time the blade fails. And it's clear from the description he's, like, trying to make steel. And, like, he cools it in water, and the blade, uh, breaks. Cools it in the, uh, blood of a lion's heart. The blade breaks. Then, yeah, then he needs a Nissa Nissa to make a sacrifice. So, so he calls her in, she opens up her top, he trusts the sword into her heart, and she let out a cry of ecstasy and pain. Because as we all know, being stamped with a sword is quite erotic. Um, but yeah, apparently the sword absorb, absorbed her, like, you know, her into it. It's all, you know, legend, so it's, you know, probably a fair bit of bogs, but eesh, you never know. It's like a meant to be a legend within the Game of Thrones, you know, a Song of Ice and Fire universe. Just just be damn clear. Sometimes I think I'm saying, I've made a point like that, that I'm saying it's a legend within, some, you know, some story or whatever. Uh, but I, I didn't. I just started saying the story. Like I was saying before about, um... Oh, I can shoot through that? Weird. Um, there is a story in uh, Fallen of Vegas about uh, like this guy from pre, you know, before the war. Well, sorry, not before the war. Before the bombs fell. Uh, he was a survivalist. He, he, the bombs fell as he's coming back. And it's his, like his story of him surviving afterwards. And it's a really cool story. You never meet the guy. He's long since dead by the time you find him. But the, the amount of effort and time to me, uh, that um, Obsidian put into his story is awesome. Like, it just, it's just a really cool tale. Um, I wish I could remember his name so I could tell you it, but I don't. Um, I do know the Ant Apple has a video on it, as does... Um, damn it, I can't. There's people do they do a machinima thing of the storyteller. Uh, it's a person within the Fallout universe. T uh, well, no. They're not actually in the Fallout universe. To be damn clear, it's just a fan made thing. But it's like a car like a person that knows um, you know a ton about the universe that goes around traveling, telling tales about the you know stuff that has happened. And one of the tales it tells about that character, though the. Um, and Apple's one's a bit more detailed. Still, if you prefer to get a you know, full story, I'm sure the wiki has m all the entries on it, or, you know, just go play the game yourself. Oh, I wish I could remember the guy's name. Okay, you know what? I'm going to look it up right here, right now. Uh, the Soros. Spelled sorrows right. Sorrows fall out. Okay. There's a reason I'm googling the sorrows. They worship the guy as their god. Um. Randall Clark. That's the guy. Oh, feck off. Feck off. Feck off. 
fucking hate that. Fucking hate it. Uh, sorry, folks. Um, I go onto a few sites on my phone, and they keep directing me to ads. And I think some one of those ads is after taking my iPad, you know, iPhone um, password. Because I got a message that someone on iPhone 6 tried to send an iMessage the other day. And I don't think I do those. Unless that's what they're saying. They're trying to call a text message. Little interest in phones. They're useful tool, but I don't know the ins and outs and the new phrasings and whatnot. Sound like an old man, but there you go. Yeah, it was an iMessage, which isn't that. I think it's something else. But I don't see anything else here. Ah, oh, fuck it. Um, but yeah, Randall Clark, that's the name of the guy. So yeah, um, you can look, find some videos on him, or you know, find uh, you know, find them on the Wikipedia, um, on the wiki, and it will point to you where you can begin your search for him in Following the Vegas, if you want to follow the story yourself. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Our battles will discourage, wage on, Chandelin. Do your part and throw those cursed, mindless undead back into the plaguelands. Uh, your efforts are appreciated, Chandelin. I will not thank you for doing what is necessary, but I will remember your name. Have you? Do you? Um, do you have the remains of the Agamans, or those cursed beasts, finally destroyed? Revenge has a sweet taste, don't you think? When you destroy the Agamans, did you can't any uh, catch any hint of free will within them? I hope so. I hope they know fear before they're smashed into oblivion. It is a foolish hope, I know. But it is a hope I foster, nonetheless. I have destroyed the remains you've given me, Chandelin. That is, all remains except these. The Evelyn Agamand was weak and sharp-tongued in life, as one first to succumb to the plague. He existed as a slave of the scourge for a long time, longer than most. As such, he may possess knowledge that will be of value to us. Bring his remains to Magistrate Severin, and tell him what I have told you. He will know what to do. And that was a dark wood staff. Um, just gives tree stamina. Ow. Probably vital to my survival there. Okay, come on. Just call that a meteor. Okay. What's this? 200% uh, increased pet battle experience. Well, that's fantabulous. Hmm. That's disappointing. No uh, pet window here. Hmm. Like I said before, you used to have that. I don't know, thinking maybe it's just due to a certain level, but no, even here, well, like even now, I don't have access to it. I do have one here, but it's still not great. Avoidance. Reduces damage taken from AoE tanks by 80%. Which is useful. I didn't reset my hearthstone, did I? No. Yeah, no. I'm not just going to go back to death now. I'm just going to leg it through here. Um, let's see. Can I be honest, I was looking at something a moment ago, but I don't remember what I was looking at. So it's just like, eh. You know, there's a game I'd be meaning to get back to playing, Duskers. Basically, like uh, you control little sh robots as you go onto as you board ships looking for supplies. And there's like random en like weird enemies on them, and your robots I think can get weapons, but they're you know they're far and few between, and they break after a bit, and you can repair them, but they cost resources, kind of thing. So you're better off avoiding enemies or venting them into space, uh, which isn't always possible. You also have to be careful of enemies using vents to get around. Once an enemy got around into a vent, 
and killed off one of my bots, then I couldn't escape uh, without losing all the rest of my units. Uh, I have to power places up and use bots with the generator app to do so, and all this. Um, but anyway, a part of the way you could control the game rather than using the arrow keys and moving people around like this is you go into t chat and say, uh, you know, uh, slash move one A. No, one D six and hit enter. Then um, that isn't the exact code, but it's like slash navigate d six one or one d six. So uh, yeah, slash navigate one d six. So one will go to room d six if it can. Or you can do slash navigate all d six. So all your people will go to room d six. It's very cool. Oh, junk. Um, hmm. Should sell off this other stuff, or previous quest rewards and whatnot. It's a good idea. Takes up less space. The fetter of scourge hangs about you, Chandelin. What is it you seek? Devil Nagamad. Is it him you carry in your sack there? Ha! Yes, I know what Coleman wants to try. I want to try it too. I hope you're prepared, Chandelin. Well, the frozen throne lies dormant. The grasp of the Lich King once the, the grasp of the Lich King once held over the scourge grows ever weaker. His grip on a weakling like Devil and Agamand should be weak enough that we can uh, remove it entirely. Speak with Shadow Priestess Malia in the manor on the east side of town. She will assist you in the procedure. I wonder why they don't do that on more people. You know, if they can just completely shunt off. The Lich King's control. Why don't they do it on more? Maybe it's really uh, cost intensive. And so, you know, they might get info out of the sky so they're willing to take the risk. But on some, you know, random people, they otherwise wouldn't. Hmm, cool little candle. You. Are you ready to begin the procedure? I am ready. Very well. Follow me. Didn't notice the chest under the stairs, but can't interact with it. Also, she has a cool staff. Now, it is time for us to begin. Devil and Agamand, listen to my voice. Your mortal remains have been gathered here in this place where you spent your childhood. This is a new manor, been recently built. You already spent it in his childhood here. Resist the Lich King's will, Devlin. Come uh, to us. Well, what's going on here? Wait, am I home? You people, what are you doing here? Why are you in my house? This is not your house, dipstick. This was newly built. Mother, father, Turman, where are you? Help me! No. I remember. My family is dead, and so am I. My soul belongs to this, to this scourge. Die, you wretches. What, level 19 not gonna help? So, any commentary? I'm a bit busy at the moment, Warlock. Return when I'm less preoccupied. I love how she just says nothing and just basically goes brain dead the moment he, he you know, does cooperate. Just like fantastic. What is it? What do you require? Bit late now, honestly, but still may have some use out of that. Uh, you. Ah, 
Ah, how fortunate. Murphy's discourages the meaning of a devil's mind remains too strong. Perhaps our methods are simply not strong enough. It's also possible that Devlin was simply was was too simple minded to comprehend what we were asking him. You've done much for us, Chandelin, but women of your caliber are needed elsewhere. Uh, for example, the kitchen. I'm sorry, the joke was on a silver platter. No one can blame me for taking you know, for you know, grabbing it and running with it. It was on a silver fucking platter. To the east lies the bulwark, a fortified barricade against the ravages of the playgrounds. The bulwark protects us from discouraged invasions and has allowed us enough sa sanctity, sanctity to build up our forces here in Terrasville. Uh, in Terrasville Glades. Go speak with High Executor, uh, High Executor, Executor, uh, Dar uh, Darrington. He is an ally and will doubtlessly appreciate whatever aid you can give him. East. Always to the east. Hmm. I'm gonna look that quest that name up. Because that just sounds like a um East always to the East. And while I was Googling that it was, um did say there East, always east. So maybe that's what it was referencing. But how fine now. Uh, it's a reference to the opening cinematic of Diablo 2, where Mar Marius, the hapless narrator, says just that. Hmm. Someone's just putting down here the, like the entire. Um, Diablo 2 opening. I would love to play Diablo 1 and 2, even though they're not my kind of games, for the story and whatnot. I did Diablo 3, may as well do it for completeness. But they don't sell Diablo 1 on the Blizzard store, and they sell Diablo 2, but I question if I could play it on this machine. So I'm going to have to look into making sure if I can. I'll read you the paragraph where he does say, East always into the East. Marius shivering outside, narrating, Why did I follow him? I do not know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. From that moment, we traveled together. East. Always into East. Okay. So basically, we just stroll straight on ahead down this way. You know, they really need to finish building the walls and whatnot, because they aren't really much good on finished. They may as well not have them. It would be one thing if there's like a natural defense there. Um, and it makes sense, okay, there's a road there. They could toss up a gatehouse, but you know, we'll give it a pass. But around, there's different patches where it's just a flat land true. It's kind of a waste of a wall. I suppose it does provide a bottleneck, but. I know. It would make more sense to have it just a solid wall. At least to me it would, anyway. Hello. Um, she has two recipes for, you know, cooking. She also sells a strong fishing pole, which um, boosts your fishing skill by five when using it. Um... There's also oversized fishing bobber, which makes the increased size of the bobber for 30, 30 minutes. And she also provides various different um, ores. Not the best ones, there's better ones later on, but useful ones nonetheless. Uh, we'll just auto run. I kind of forgot we went to the um, bulwark for a, for a bit. Because I always associate that with the playgrounds. So, no. Didn't think I would go here. There is actually an NPC you can have a chat with here. Um, in the past, you actually... Uh, I don't know now. But I, I do remember in the past, you... Um, you get a quest from him to go kill his brother. You, I get a quest from his brother to 